Hello friends, this is next part of Ajax based follow unfollow tutorial series, and in this part we have add one more feature of repost or retweet existing post, in our follow unfollow system. After adding comment feature, there are many user has requested us to add repost feature in this system also, so here we have add this feature in follow unfollow system. In this feature, user can repost follow user post, he cannot repost his or her own post, that repost will be visible to his or her, and other user who has follow this login user, and user can repost particular post only one time. For add this repost functionality, here we have to create one repost table, with three table column like, repost ID, post ID and user ID. Now first we want to make repost button in each post, for this we have to go to action.php, where we have write code for fetch post. Here under this block of code, we have write dollar repost variable is equal to disabled, this variable value we will use for disable repost button for login user post. Below this we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar user id variable value is not equal to dollar session user id variable. This condition will check, user ID of who has share post is not equal to login user, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar repost variable is equal to blank value, here we have changed this dollar repost variable value. After this, here in comment button code, here we have write button type is equal to button, class is equal to repost, data post ID is equal to dollar row post ID variable. Under this button, here we have write dollar repost variable, it will disable this button, in login user post, and in button text we have use, retweet icon. Friends, here we have login as John Smith account, and this user has been follow post of Jacob Martin user, and his post we can see here. Now we have refresh page, after refresh of page, here we can see retweet button has been display in each post, here repost button has been disable in all post of John Smith and repost button has been clickable, in all post of Jacob Martin, that means John Smith can repost, any post of Jacob Martin, but he cannot repost his own post. For make repost functionality, we have go to index page, and here we have write dollar document selector with on method, under this we have write click event, with repost button class repost, so when we have click on repost button, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write variable post ID is equal to, dollar this with data method, and under this we have write post ID, it will fetch value from this attribute, and store under post ID variable. Below this, we have write action variable is equal to, repost, this variable value, we will use at server side script. Now we have start write ajax request, and under this first we have write url option set to action.php, here we have send request to this page. After this, we have write method option, 
here we have use post method for send data to server. In third, option we have write data, in this option we can define, which data we want send to server, so here we have send post id, action variable value, has been sent to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, first we have write alert with data variable, it will pop up message which, it has been received from server. And lastly, we have called fetch post function, this function will display all latest post data on web page, without refresh of page. Now we have go to, action.php, and here we have write, if statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable is equal to repost, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable, is equal to, select star from repost table, where post id is equal to dollar post, post id variable, and user id is equal to dollar session user id variable. This query is used for, check login user already repost particular post or not. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement, with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query. After query execution, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method, this method will return number of rows affected after query execution. Below this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar total row variable value, greater than zero, if this condition true, that mean login user, already repost particular post. Under this if block, we have write echo statement, with message like you have already repost this post, this message will pop up on web page. Suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block, and under this we have write dollar query one variable is equal to, insert into repost table. With table column like, post id, user id, with value get from dollar post, post id variable, and session user id variable. This insert query will insert repost data, into repost table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable, is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, under this we have write dollar query one variable, it will make query for execution. Below this, we have write if statement, under condition we have dollar statement variable, with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. After insert repost data, now we want fetch content of particular post, for this we have write dollar query to variable is equal to, select star from samples post where post id is equal to, dollar post, post id variable. 
Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query to variable. It will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method it will return query execution result now we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. By using this loop, it will fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar post content variable is equal to dollar row post content variable. Here we have store post content under this dollar post content variable now we want to insert data into samples post table for this we have write dollar query 3 variable is equal to insert into samples post table with table column like user id post content post date time with values get from dollar session user id variable dollar post content variable and this date php function this insert query will insert data into samples post table now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query 3 variable it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement. Under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. If query successfully run, then it will execute if block of code. Under this if block, we have write echo statement with message like repost done successfully this message will be pop at user web page if post successfully reposted friends first we have refresh page after refresh of web page here we can see we have login with john smith account this user has follow post of jacob martin so here we can see repost button enable on Jacob Martin post and on his button repost button has been disabled. Now we want to repost this post of Jacob Martin. So we have click on this repost button. After click on this button, we can see one pop up message like post has been successfully reposted. After this, we can see above this post has been reposted with user image of John Smith. So this way we can repost particular post of follow user. This post will be visible to those user who has follow John Smith post. Now we have again click on this post repost button. After click on button, we have message like you have already repost this post, so user can repost particular post, only one time. Now we want to display number of repost particular post. For this, we have go to action.php file, and here we have make count retweet function, with dollar $connect variable, and dollar post id variable this function will return number of particular post reposted under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to 
select star from repost table, where post ID is equal to dollar post ID variable. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. It will make query for execute. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. It will make query for execution. After query execution, we have write return statement with dollar statement with row count method. This method will return number of rows affected after query execution, which an output of this function. Now we want to call this function, so we have go to repost button HTML code. And here we have called count retweet function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar row post ID variable. This function will display number of time particular post has been reposted, which display on repost button. Friends, first we have refresh page. After refresh of page, here we can see on Jacob Martin post, repost button, which has been repost by John Smith. Here we can see one, that means this post has been repost by one time. So, this way, user can repost post of other user by clicking this repost button and that post will be visible to other user who has follow John Smith. Now, we have log out from John Smith, and log in as Adam Smith user account, this user has follow John Smith post. Now here we can see, John Smith post, which he has repost from Jacob Martin post. So, in this part we have learned, how to repost post, in our follow unfollow system in PHP using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.